All right, example five, continuing on with related rates. So a baseball diamond has the shape of a square with sides 90 feet long. Okay, so baseball diamond, I'm just gonna make a square. Okay, so there's my baseball diamond, sort of. Uh, sides are 90 feet long. So a player is running from first to second. So from first to second uh, at a speed of 28 feet per second. Find the rate at which the distance from home plate is changing when the player is 30 feet from second base. Okay, so here's home. And the player is running from first to second. So he's going you know, that direction. So here he is. And it's measuring the distance from home plate to the player. So from home plate to the player. So I have another right triangle. So the, where the green side would be your hypotenuse. So this green side, it's getting longer as he runs to second. So that green line is changing so I have to label it with a variable so I'm going to use Z and then this length over here that's also changing because he's getting further and further away from first base so that length from there from the from first base to just the player that's the X the whole thing is 90 but just this part is, is X okay so what do we know what no, What do we know that would apply to this? Well, you're talking about lengths on a right triangle again. So let's use Pythagorean theorem. So x squared plus 90 squared equals z squared. Okay, the givens, like what did they actually give you? Um, so we know the sides are 90 feet. That's already in there. Uh, he's running from first to second at a speed of 28 feet per second. So the X is what's changing. So DX DT is 28. Uh, find the rate at which the distance from home plate is changing when the player is 30 feet from second base. So from here to th here is 30. Well, if this distance is 30, then that value there, that X would have to be 60 and what do they want you to find the rate at which the distance from home plate uh, is changing so that would be the green line or D Z D T <clears throat> all right so let's start getting a derivative so the derivative of that equation 2x times dx dt. The derivative of 90 squared is 0. The derivative of z squared, 2z dz dt. All right, so let's start plugging in what we have. So we know x is 60. dx dt is 28. Delete the zero. The Z is, oh, they didn't give me Z. Shoot. Oh, hey, look, we can just use this. <laughs> you can use the Pythagorean theorem. So when X equals 60, the Pythagorean theorem would look like this. So if you squared those, added them together, and square rooted, z is going to equal 30 root 13. And yes, I would expect you to know how to simplify that. So review your algebra 1 or algebra 2 if you need to. All right, so now that you know what z is, stick it in. And then d z dt is the only thing left and we can now solve for it so just divide by all of this mess all 
simplify it down. So like the twos, cancel. 30 goes into 60 twice. Uh, and then if you rationalized it, and you do have to do that, only with uh, numbers though, you don't need to rationalize with a variable unless you just really want to. Uh, if you rationalize it, that comes out to be 56 root 13 all over 13. And then the units, it's still a length, so it's still just feet per second. And that is your D, Z, D, T. All right. Okay, let's move on to example six. So the radius R of a sphere is increasing at a constant rate of 0 0.04 centimeters per second. So at the time when the radius of the sphere is 10 centimeters, what is the rate of its increase of volume? Okay, so they're talking about a, the volume of a sphere again. So that's gonna be your no. Your givens Uh, we know the radius is increasing at a rate, so dr dt is equal to 0 0.04. The radius is 10. And that's all they really gave us. So what do they want us to find? What is the rate of increase of its volume? So what is the rate of change of the volumes? dv dt. All right, so let's get the derivative of the no. So dv dt is going to equal uh, 4 thirds pi times 3r squared times dr dt. So let's start plugging in what we have and simplify it down. So like the 3s here cancel off, so 4 pi. The r is 10. The drdt is 0.04. So if you multiply that out, dvdt is going to equal 16 pi. And the units, uh, well, the radius was centimeters, so the volume has to be centimeters cubed. Uh, and then the time is the same, so per second. Okay, part B. Uh, at the time when the volume and the radius of the sphere are increasing at the same numerical rate, what is the radius? So this one, you don't need to list out the no, the given, and the find, because uh, it's not really asking for uh, finding a rate. It's what is the actual radius. So we just got to set up what they describe. So the volume and the radius are increasing at the same rate. So their rates are supposed to be equal. They want to know when does this actually happen when the volume and the radius are changing at the same rate. Well, dvdt, we have an expression for it already. That was up here. Like we found the, the volume or what DVD, dvdt actually equals. So we're gonna take this and just substitute it in right for, for, sorry. We're gonna take this and substitute it in right for that. So the threes are gone. So I have four pi r squared dr dt is equal to dr dt. And I'm gonna divide the dr dt out And I can do that because I know it's um, it's a constant. Like I can plug uh, the drdt in if I wanted to, just 0.04, uh, but I can just divide it out. Okay, so then I just have to solve from here. So r squared is one over four pi. Square root it. And it's a length, so I don't need a, the plus or minus, it's just positive. four roots in the two, the pi doesn't, so it stays inside the radical. 
and then if I rationalized it, root pi over two pi, and then the units, centimeters. All right, let's stop the video here and we'll keep going with example seven in the next video.